Hello everyone, welcome to EMOS Basic 101. Today I will be introducing to you on how do we create furnitures in EMOS. In EMOS, we can create kitchen that includes tall cabinets such as a tall unit with one door of a height of 1625 mm. and also a kitchen base unit with two drawers where we can allow customization of the materials and handles. We can also create other furniture such as a bed, wardrobe, cabinets, tables, and more. We term these furnitures as articles in EMOS. Therefore, an article can be used to refer to a wardrobe, cabinets, tables, and such. Basically, an article in EMOS is designed for parametric constructions. This means that designs can be easily adjusted by changing certain parameters such as the edge bands, or in EMOS we call it profiles. You can also input your own measurements and thickness as well. You can also adjust the surfaces or laminates, whether you want a matte finishes or solid colors. Even for materials, you can set your own materials based on your current manufacturing process. In this case, I am selecting a pre-laminated board of melamine, oak color. You can also set your construction, whether you want an onset or inset door, left or right hinge. Parametric design allows greater flexibility and efficiency in cabinet designs to fit specific needs. Let me show you how these can be done in EMOS. Today, I will create a simple storage cabinet in EMOS. First of all, we need the overall dimensions of this article. Height of 900 millimeters, width of 900 millimeters, and depth of 450 millimeters. Once we input these dimensions, a basic form of the structure will be created in our drawing area. In EMOS, we can create panels easily by activating the panels by clicking on the relevant icons. For this article, we will need a top shelf, bottom shelf, left side panel, right side panel, and a back panel. Next, we will divide the spaces, and in EMOS, we call it a zone. We can divide the spaces equally by inputting ratios. In this case, let us see the difference between the 3 is to 1 ratio and 2 is to 1 ratio. I will also select this as an adjustable shelf. Next, I will create a double door for the storage cabinet. Once done, I will apply all these changes and you will now be able to see the basic form of the structure in the drawing area. Did you notice what is change? Can you see now our article has all the fittings? In EMOS, the fittings are automatically fixed onto the panels based on a set of parameters which you can either use the default database or also your own manufacturing standard. We can view it in all angles so that you can review your work in several perspectives such as realistic mode or 2D wireframe as well. Once you are done reviewing your work, I will now save the article in EMOS. Let's first rename this article. Instead of unname, let's call it Storage Cabinet. I will also give this article a short description, writing it as Storage Cabinet with Double Door. and save it in EMOS. This article will now be saved in EMOS, specifically the article center where all your save article and work can be located here. I can even duplicate the article by dragging it out from the article center and place it in the drawing area. EMOS makes work easier because you can even adjust your saved article, where we can adjust the width for this article. Assuming now that you have a standard set of offerings in your catalog and a customer comes to you wanting to buy a variation of it. We can do this changes easily in EMOS by just adjusting the dimensions from your existing article. Besides increase the width, we can also decrease the width to an article with a smaller width. This is the sort of flexibility that EMOS allow us to do the changes. Do you also notice that after you have made the changes in the dimensions, the position of the fittings has also changed? This is because EMOS has a set of rules where it can be applied to your article. This rule can also be adjusted by your own. 
This is how we can create an article in EMOS. Using Article Designer to create the article by inputting the dimensions such as the height, width, and depth. Then activating the panels that is on your cabinet. And divide the spaces accurately by inputting ratios.